On the CBS Market Watch, the once red hot U.S. economy is showing signs of cooling. The latest jobs report shows 236,000 jobs were added last month and unemployment now at 3.5 percent, both lower than expected. CBS's Michael George joins us now with more on the numbers and how inflation is influencing it all. Michael. Adriana, good evening. Economists say the job market is still strong, which is good news for workers, but it's starting to weaken. And there is some hope that a weaker job market could help cut down inflation. In L.A., many shoppers aren't happy this Easter holiday over the cost of their groceries. It's unnecessarily expensive. You know, the price of everything went up and I'm not making a ton more money. Here's the good news. The latest jobs report shows unemployment down to just 3.5 percent. But while overall the country is adding jobs, Meta and Amazon are laying off thousands of workers. Goldman Sachs, McDonald's and Disney are also downsizing. FedEx is starting a massive restructuring, hoping to cut $4 billion. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says the Fed hopes that slower job growth leads to lower inflation. The Fed needs to see the labor market cool down. The reason is when job growth is robust, when wages are rising, it means that people have more money in their pockets and spend more. That spending can contribute to inflation. But there are side effects to nine interest rate hikes over the last year. Auto loan rates are spiking, up from 5.6% last year to nearly 9%. The average American is spending more than $700 a month on a new car. You come in to buy a car and suddenly the cost of financing it, and let's face it, most of us need to borrow to buy a car, has just skyrocketed. Shakeups in the banking industry have also made it tougher to get credit, so many people are struggling to qualify for loans. So what industries are still seeing strong job growth? Well, there's leisure and hospitality, health care, and state and local government. As for industries that saw declines in March, that includes construction and manufacturing. Adriana? Michael George, thank you.